Good afternoon, fellow wanderers. It's Jeremiah here in Bend. I'm leaving my job, headed back to the campsite, the homestead. Uh, ah. It was a busy ship, busy ship, very good. Things at my job are going well. We're headed in the right direction. They're kind of a mess, but I'm already, already seeing progress in a week. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm gonna stick it out. Uh, I wish they would utilize my knowledge more so I could help them, but maybe the new GM that starts in a week will. The GM left, everyone left. Uh, but yeah, that's work, screw work. Oh, one more work thing. I learned today that a lot of these kids, they're calling off of work for a wellness day. You may be like me and say, a what? A wellness day. And I'm gonna be kind of a douche. You just say it. I think it's a West Coast thing. Oh, I almost dropped my phone. I think it's a West Coast thing. Basically what they're saying is, I don't feel like coming to work today. And they're basically using the subtle threat of thoughts of suicide. I hate to say that, but that's what they're saying is the wellness. They're not feeling well. So two to three people call off every single day in this restaurant. And I hate to say it, but letting them and not making any, not letting, not having repercussions is what's causing it. In my opinion. So yeah, wellness days. What do you think about a wellness day? What would you drop do if you called and you said, hey, I just need a wellness day. I'm not coming in today. Is this just a West Coast thing? I don't know, they're so woke out here. Yeah, my new air mattress has a hole in it that pisses me off. I bought it with a hole in it, it's 84 bucks. Uh, you can't return it unless you go through the returns process through the mail that takes about a month through the company and not have a bed in that time. So I'm kind of pissed. Uh, I'm actually glad it was a hole because at first I thought it was the pump leaking and I was not happy. So right now I've got like a sheet over it with a water bottle leaning against that and my suitcase leaning against that. It got me through the night without turning me into a air mattress burrito. And I just don't have the energy to go to uh, Walmart to buy a patch kit or duct tape or whatever the whatever I'm gonna fix it with. I should watch my swearing. Uh, I was gonna swear. Uh, so that's a bummer. I was so excited for that bed. Bought the shower. It broke. It was broken the first day. I bought the air mattress. It was broken the first day. I'm like, <sighs> designed obsolescence. It's a bitch. They actually have scientists and psychologists working for big corporations making products to design a product that will break. Right but still leave you with just enough faith to buy it again. So they're literally paying more money to design products to break design obsolescence. Then you have perceived obsolescence and that's whenever they tell you that you have to keep up with style. What they use is fear and you don't realize, but you're afraid that if you don't have, not you guys, maybe the 25% of you that are women, if you don't have the new high heels that this year are thin, the heels are thin, Shut the fuck up! Get a fucking life! Sorry, I just, you heard that. Some lady yelled at me, because I went through a light. Called me a dickhead. Some like eight year old. I hate when you guys see me that, <laughs> like that. The real Jeremiah slips through. <sighs> what was I even talking about? I don't know. That's why you either love me or you hate me. It's not always in the best order. Oh my gosh. All right, bye. Loving you. See ya. Man, I 
just got home and wow, I'm exhausted. That's just like, yeah, that's just half the day I've ended up doing. The bike ride is a lot. I mean, 12 miles round trip, it's not that much, but there's hills involved. Oh man, that's worse. My shirt's sweaty. There's hills involved and like, yeah, so I basically, it's 4.30 and I've just been moving nonstop since 5.30 this morning. And I mean like moving. But I got three night shifts this week and three day shifts. So, I mean, today was good. Little bruises on me. What's that? What's that about? Oh, my cyst on my tailbone has been big. Pilonidal cyst. It's been an infection in my tailbone since about 2005. Yeah, like really. Here, I don't have a I'll show you. Oh, I'm not gonna show you my butt. That's actually, I got sepsis and I almost died from it. I mean, I could have died. I got blood poisoning and I grew to the size of a grapefruit in three in two days, but oh, it sucks to sit down on it. Basically, stress affects it. When I'm stressed, it affects, it propagates the growth of bacteria that perpetuate, I don't know, it's like, I guess it's caused by people with oily skin and hair and lots of thick hair and it causes an ingrown hair that grows around their like tailbone and it's not good. Uh, after they've gone in and, and lanced it and, and then they created two sinuses. They created a big hole that you saw and one below, put tubing in, tied it off. So basically it just leaked into half a diaper for six months and it was horrible. Uh, but since then it hasn't gotten bad since because I've got four sinuses. I basically have five assholes. <laughs> I literally have five assholes. I have the two original holes that it created and then I have the two holes that they dug in with the surgery. And... Yeah, basically, scar tissue blocks them, and then it'll go, and another one will go out that way from the pressure, and then that'll get blocked with scar tissue, and it'll go out another one, and it's just a horrible mess. And right now, it's getting bad, and I'm staying clean, I'm doing the shower thing, I'm doing the wipe thing, but uh, I think my job's stressing me out a little bit. I just want what's best for the guest, and they deserve us to have a system, and I would be willing to help with it, but ah, I kind of feel like... I've been blaming restaurants, but I think it's the world and our country, and I kind of feel like... I'm sorry, but I feel like we're watching the, the fall of a nation. Wellness days. What the fuck is a wellness day? Everyone's just calling off. No one cares, you know? They're just like... The bus is getting paid. He just, like, wipes the table, kind of, but there's crumbs and syrup all over it, all over the seat. They just don't care. No one cares. They just don't care. The, And I just honestly, I feel like we're watching a nation fall. I feel like this is Rome falling. And most people in that time didn't realize. That scares me. I like this country. I like the service industry. I'll try to make it better. You know, I was a Boy Scout. You leave things better than the way you found them. Whether it's a restaurant or a friend or a, a spot in the woods, you know, uh, all right, cool. I'm going to go watch more Obi-Wan. I got took two sips of that wine last night. It passed out. Oh, and by the way, I got here last night, and it started raining. Rained all night. I was so scared because I don't have rain gear. It's cold, and I was going to have to ride six miles in the rain. And then it stopped raining right before I left for work. That's good. Lots to complain about, but where focus goes, the energy flows. So what do you want out of life? Put your attention on it. Call it what you will. Manifestation. The secret. You know. Good energy. But. Where attention goes. Energy flows. And my energy is either going to flow. Towards making lots of money here. And saving. Uh, to do the Appalachian Trail next year. Or making lots of money here. And leaving and going to the Virgin Islands. For the winter. So I can go to the Appalachian Trail next year. So I'm going to think about that a lot. And think about doing my art a lot. Think about all the things I want to do, and although that may sound funny to some people, it may be discouraging to think about something while you're not doing it. You feel like you, you failed or you didn't succeed, but man, put your focus where you want it. You don't need my advice. I'm sorry. I'm annoying. Bye. I love you.